Hello YouTube, this is Carrie from Razor Sharp Crafts and I am back with my Matchbox Design Team project for Diamond Dies. And we're going to use the dies in this one, so if you want to purchase any of the dies I use, you can get them at diamonddies.com. And if you use coupon code Carrie's Friend, you will get 10% off plus free shipping. So let's just get to it. So I'm going to remeasure. It's three and an eighth by four and an eighth. So I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to do three by four. That will give us an eighth inch. And I'm going to be using the Printery Collection by Prima. And I picked this up obviously at Hobby Lobby when I was in the States this summer. Alright, so I need it to be four inches by three inches that way. And that will give me front and back. So I'm going to ink the edges though. I don't know if I want to use something different around the outside or not. Let me get out some black soot. Let's get that out of the way. This is my wonderful black soot. Um, distress ink. fingers green. <laughs> er. The only thing I'm having trouble with is trying to decide what colors to cut in the butterflies. If I should make them blend in, stand out. And I'm basically just hitting the edges, just mainly to cover up that white core. Alright, I'm going to keep that out, because I imagine I'll be doing a lot more. So... I'm just going to use my ATG to put it on. There was something about that little, I don't even know what you call that, that crest I think it's called, at least that's what they're called when they're on a jacket. There's just something about that I really liked and I thought it just went really well with the, it's almost like a lavender color paper that I used. Something on my desk here because I got some black marks on my matchbox. Not that big of a deal though. Another thing I like is how when you add the pattern paper it sturdies it up just so much more. Alright. 
Still trying to decide. I think I want to use like a different thing all like a different type of paper all together around that outside. Like a drastic change. But it's still gotta go with the purple. So I don't quite don't like how it looks with the purple behind it. I don't know if I'll be able to do a drastic change. Black is what's really going to look good. I want that for on that flap. Because that goes awesome with the fact that I'm doing butterflies on it. Um, hmm. Each pack has three. I should be able to get yeah I'm just gonna be using this bottom part so I need it to be this is one and an eighth by four and an eighth so I need it one by four I moved it. I know you can't see my cutting, but it's one by four. That's kind of easy to, I don't think I have to show that exactly. Just inking all the way around the outside. had a super cute idea like decorate it all up and what if I pulled it out and this was like a I don't know like maybe like um oh one of those things that they make where they keep butterflies like the display you know the bug guys I don't know I don't know what it's called or have it be like a butterfly garden. That might be cool too. I don't know what it's called. Like, you see those guys where they keep the bug specimens and they have them hanging on their walls in frames, but what if this pulled out into one? That might be cute. And then I use the die to create it, you know? Okay, 
now I have one more. I just swore I smelled hot glue. I was going to say, I know I didn't turn my hot glue gun on today. So this is going to be one by three, which means I can get them both out of this paper. cutting this in half because it's a six by six stack gave me two pieces of one by three so it'll cover the top and the bottom so so sorry I've been so a wall but last Sunday was my birthday, and for my birthday, my husband gave me a weekend off. Off, I'm not sure I was moving that, so you may not have heard me, but I got a weekend off. And so I went and stayed at what we call Billeting on Base, which is just the hotel on base. And I went and stayed there for the night, or for the weekend actually. And I had a wonderful time. Originally, when I was packing, I tried to pack up a bunch of craft stuff to take with me. And yeah, I would have had to pack my whole craft room. Because I was like, oh, I want this. Oh, I want this. Oh, I want to take this. Oh, I want to do this. So I just ended up unpacking it. I took my... I've been learning Zen Tangling. So it, it, well, it's called Tangling. But it's Zen Tangled. I've been learning it. So I took it with me. And I will honestly say I never even took it out of my bag. I went shopping. I went out to eat. I went out to the bar with a girlfriend for an evening. Like, I just... I had fun. It was so much fun. Um, so, that is one reason why I haven't really been doing anything. Is I had my weekend off and I've just been spending some time with the kiddos. Alright, so this needs to be three by one and an eighth. So there's no way to make that centered. So I'm thinking just to cover it with a different piece of paper and then maybe just cut this out and put it on it. Because I could just cover it with this black. Like that. Ooh, that would probably look really good. Let's try that. So that's where I've been. And I got home and like I say, I've just been spending time with the kiddos and watching some TV. Because my husband finally, we got Netflix. And I'm in love because now I can finally watch TV. We've been here for three years and all we do is watch movies because we don't have TV. So now I do. And it makes me happy. But I needed to get back to crafting so I can fulfill my duties for the design team. So this will have another design team project pop up quickly afterwards because I need to do, we're only really required to do two to three and technically this will be two, but I wanna do a third one. So you'll see another one pop up here real quick after this one. And I can't wait to get, um, I spoke of it in another video, they got a Halloween die available now. 
um, which if you look at my um, giveaway reminder video that will be posted just before this one or I didn't do one in an eighth, I did one in a quarter. Um, you'll see it. Um, but you can order it and you can get 35% off right now if you order it. But, so if you go to the Diamond Dies website, you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't have it just yet. It should be here any day, so I'll be doing a video to show it once it does get here. Sorry, I wasn't trying to run away on you. I had cut that at one and a quarter instead of one and an eighth. So, um, so yeah, so you can check it out and get it now, and we'll be doing a YouTube hop here real soon. It's kind of like a blog hop, but it's here on YouTube me and myself, not me, myself and the other design team members. So stay tuned for details on that. And, but if you order it now, you'll be able to create with us in the blog hop. Because we're all going to do semi, like, I don't want to say simple, but we're not going to do real complex projects for the YouTube hop. So there should be stuff that you'd be able to follow right along and create with us. There we go. And I'm going to cut this out. I'm not the best fussy cutter in the world. I sure try real hard though. <laughs> I see some things that some ladies fussy cut out and I'm just like, oh my god, how? So cute. All right. Um, well, I think I'm gonna. No, let's go ahead and. No, let's hold off. Because just in case I decide to put a butterfly on here, I may want to position it elsewhere or something. So. Should probably do this. in here so I need I do believe this is already cut to three inches let's do three by one and how big is that it's an eighth of an inch too short when you know it. So yeah, so there's lots of stuff coming up here from Diamond Dies. So um, make sure you're staying tuned 
in checking out their website. They got, um, I don't know how many or what they are yet, but they do have some fall and winter themed dyes in production. I'm just gonna flip this around. I'm really, really excited about that because as the weather changes, I stay home and I craft. And with having two of three of my kids in school, will make it a lot easier for crafting. All right, I need to find a piece of that black again. Yeah, Michael only goes for All right, seriously, where's that black paper? Michael only goes right there. Only goes for He's from the time the bus picks him up till the time he gets home. It's about um It's about three hours. But he also, the baby also naps at that time. Okay. So yeah, so little Joshua naps at that time and so... Sorry, I keep losing train of thought here. This video is going to be Carrie the Space Cadet. So Joshua naps when Michael's in school, so I don't have, I have some free time. But as any stay-at-home mom knows, it's not just, hey, okay, free time, let's go craft. You gotta, you got dishes and laundry and cleaning and and heck, let's just face it, half hour to sit down and just relax on the couch and watch a TV show with quiet and not a kid screaming at you or something like that, you know? And the little man's been sick since I got home this weekend, so he's been a grouch. My husband's been sick. And I'm just praying I don't get it. We've had some snotty noses and some grumpy pusses. There. I wish you could feel the difference once you get all that on there. Like how... Just the difference in the weight and the sturdiness of it. So... Velcro. Alright, I'm just digging for Velcro. Give me a second here, peeps. I don't use it real often, so of course it's not on top here. Is that it? Nope. There we go. Just a baggie of Velcro. ones. But they're really big. 
I don't want to use that big of one. Of course, I could cut it in half. I'm just going to use these. Alright. Fuzzy goes on the bottom, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to be a stickler. And actually me measure the center. I hate when you apply these for the first time. There we go. Alright. There we go. And these are just Velcro mini fasteners. Nothing special. Alright, so I guess I lied. Um, I said that this, this was only going to be a two part video but I think I'm going to go ahead and make it three because I'm already at almost a half hour with this and um, I'm trying to shorten the videos up a little bit if possible so it makes it easier for people with the slower internet to watch them so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here and start up another one for the embellishing which I'll get the papers out for making the butterflies so that way we can just dive right in. So I'll get those out before we start. So I promise, well no I'm not going to promise because you never know something might go wrong. But the next one should be the last video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. I'll just show that. I realize I didn't actually show it. Alright, stay tuned. Bye bye.